Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now today is the first Loco review in a while, and before I begin, you may notice I am in a different spot if I sort of pan around. And um, so basically, I got a new desk. It's a corner desk. Uh, there's mid editing over there. Oh, sorry for the creaky tripod. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I got a new desk. So I'll, I'll explain more on the update coming soon. Anyway, so um, this locomotive has been loaned to me from my good friend Jacob. Again, you all know him by now. He gives me locos to review. So I actually have some content for you wonderful people. Anyway, so if you haven't seen already, today's locomotive in question is uh, 2001. Cocker the North, aka a London Northeastern Railway P2 class. Perhaps the biggest locomotives on the Eastern region? Not quite sure, but uh, we'll see. Well, I suppose. Um, yeah, wonderful model. Right, so the London Northeastern Railway Class P2 was a 282 steam locomotive, as you can see by its wheel arrangement designed by His Majesty Sir Nigel Gresley <laughs> for working heavy express trains over the harsh Edinburgh to Aberdeen line. As they were to serve on Scottish expresses, they were given famous names from the Scottish law, perhaps. Thus, this is Cock of the North. Six locomotives of the class were built between, uh, and they were introduced over a period of two years from 1934. Um, Roughly seven, eight years later, they were rebuilt under Gresley's successor, Mr. Edward Thompson, into the LNER Thompson Class A2 forward slash 2. So they were rebuilt, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame because they were very, very nice locos. Um, as you can see, this is a Hornby Railroad model. Um, Hornby introduced this model a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, was it? Yeah, must have been. And uh, this one is, of course, the railroad one. They also introduced one under the main Hornby range, which has more lining and painted detail and stuff. But um, this one is just very nice as well. So we will get it open. Uh, standard Hornby railroad packaging, uh, which is polystyrene in the cardboard box. We'll move the cardboard box. If anyone's wondering, the code is R3171 Class P2 Cock of the North, and it is 8 pin DCC ready, so that is interesting to note. Um, oh, we've got instructions here. Let's have a look. P2 Class 282 steam locomotive and tenders. I think that's a typo, actually. That should say tender, singular, not plural. Anyway, so we've got uh, general maintenance, uh, routine maintenance, track cleaning, motor, chassis, DCC ready, running hints, running hints. Oh, oh. Um, lubrication, very important. I highly recommend that you do that to all of your models regularly. Mine gets service sort of every couple of hours of running. Um, accessories, which there are some, which we will go through in a minute. Uh, there's sort of uh, drain cocks and vac pipes and front steps. Body removal, just remove the screw. Uh, and then fitting couplings and assembly. Oh, that's, I think that, that's for the main range one, because this one doesn't have an electrical pickup between the loco and tender. Uh, close coupling, which this one does have. Um, and yeah, just lubrication stuff. And fitting a chip and or, or a sound chip, uh, which looks like it goes in the tender. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Oh, brake rods, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, but there they are. I'm not sure if they do come with the railroad model, actually. But there are the instruction manuals, or manual, rather. And the first impression is very nice. I mean, you can obviously tell it's a railroad model. It's lacking lining around the smoke box. I mean, the, 
the firebox and the cab and sort of up here on, on the front. Now we'll just have a look at the details in the back which there are sort of there's brake I mean drain cocks on the front steps in there and then in here I think I think is is there a coupling? Yes there's a spare coupling and that pipe or that pipes uh, which will be fitted in due course. So um it's a very nice model for a railroad model. Um, we'll start at the front here. So you've got the very interestingly designed smoke box and streamlining around there. Um, they've captured the the curvature around the funnel really quite nicely and the act the lines in general of this model are very nice. Um, number 2001 painted on the buffer beam. The buffer beam is not riveted. It has a space there for the uh, vac hose and there is a hook if you wish to fit your own three link coupling. Um, got silver, bright silver buffers which I'm not a big fan of. I would quite like to dull them down but it's not my model so anyway. Uh, got some nice picked out silver detail on the front of the smoke box and including the whistle there. Um, now this, I think, the premium range model comes with a etched nameplate, but I'm not sure. But anyway, the printed one is still quite nice, beautifully applied to the to the. Well, it's, like it's kind of a smoke deflector, but it's kind of part of the boiler casing. Um, got nice detailing along that smoke deflector thing, um, and the interestingly designed cylinder. Now I only picked this up. I only picked up on this today and found it was quite interesting so I'm sort of wondering what what that bit there is right in the middle of the screen um, nice cylinder detail as I said before this does have limited paint application like that should be lined with red and stuff but uh, it's all right it, it runs so as uh, just mentioned running it's got lovely valve gear uh, beautifully uh, fitted. As I said, 282. So moving on to the boiler barrel, you've got a lovely bit of uh, riveting detail there and some very nice uh, uh, handrail, uh, which is, if you can see, separately fitted. There you go. So, and some very nice pipe work running along there. You've got nice application of uh, washout plugs and uh, nice cab uh, livery application there 2001 but it's not painted or anything because it is a railroad model um, on top you've got the safety valves and the cab opening hatch things which don't open um, I'm not sure if they do on the premium model I uh, got what I assume would be lubricators Perhaps not quite sure on that one. All the pipe work on the uh, on the right hand side of the model, um, and yet again more lovely uh, valve gear detail. Oh, I forgot to mention you've got a NEM coupling on the front there. Um, anyway, so that's the loco. We'll move on to the tender. That should not take us long. Uh, got nice detail in there. Uh, sort of a little drop of coal. I know it's not the most ideal lighting and I do apologize. Um, nice tender livery application of the LNER and the lining around the perimeter of the, of the, uh, the tender sides. I uh, got a vac hose fitted to the rear of the model and of course another NEM coupling. Bright silver buffers, some steps I think and some uh, lamp irons. There you've got the water filler and the uh, water breather I think and uh, not a bad molded coal load actually it's, it's sort of pretty good when you're looking at it from that angle. Um, 
this is the tender loco connection here uh, it's got the two pins for uh, whichever sort of you know width you'd like between the loco and tender um, but so there is a little pin on the bottom of the model and see that is what you'd run it with if you have like sort of not that generous curves like I do but and that is on the most the furthest um, setting but if you want it for display that is on the closest setting and it's quite quite nice oh it's come on come undone so there we go there we go viewers the Hornby P2 what a very nice model so I guess the only thing to do now is see how it performs so we'll head over to the layout right guys so we are here with the P2 and we're actually going to put it on the inside loop today I would normally put locos on the outside loop that I'm reviewing but for some reason even though it's a enormous loco it prefers my second radius loop so interesting there now we'll just I probably should have put the tender on uh, before oh yeah hang on there it is yep there we go we got the teaks there so I'll just reverse it to couple up Right, so uh, we'll switch on the music. Let's give it a spin. guys the Hornby P2 cock of the north number 2001 well for a railroad model it's not bad um, for the price which I believe is fairly reasonable it's pretty good um, the details sort of 
at a standard where it can be either improved. I think it's got enough detail for it to suffice on a, on a proper layout. Of course, you can touch up the lining and add various bits and pieces. But other than that, I think it's a really nice model. Um, you know, eventually this coal load will be redone. The vac pipes will be added at the front. Chances are the front coupler is going to be taken out. So just, you know, simple changes like that can really improve a railroad model. Um, I have seen people change the motor from a three pole to a five pole. And that, you know, uh, with the three pole it's not quite as smooth as slow running. But other than that, it's a very nice model. So if you want a big eastern region sort of model that's not on the pricey side, but still pretty good, I, I highly recommend this. And as I say, it can be improved quite a, quite a lot with various time and skill. So I think that's about it, guys. The Hornby P2. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always guys, see you later.